Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in today's feature, I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at some Power BI integration with CRM. So I got an email not too long ago um, that you know just said, help us celebrate Power BI's one year birthday and, and more specifically PowerBI.com and the Power BI mobile app. And I thought, you know, over the past year, there's been a lot of changes with Power BI and specifically a lot of easier ways to incorporate CRM information into Power BI um, and how to actually create dashboards and different items very quickly using some of the pre-configured content packs and then actually bringing some of that information into CRM itself. And so I thought this might be a good opportunity to just showcase some of the quick and easy ways that you can bring the Power BI information into CRM. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, this isn't necessarily going to be a true Power BI video from the, from the perspective of there's there's a ton of really good videos out on the internet about Power BI, connection sources, those kind of different situations. And I'm not necessarily going to spend a ton of time talking about, you know, the, the differences between the desktop client and the PowerBI.com and mobile capabilities and, you know, which one you want to use from a design principle and those kind of things. I specifically want to look at some of the ease of use scenarios that they've built specifically around Dynamic CRM. And so when we start Start talking about that there's really two basic things that I want to highlight in this video the first one is going to be just kind of the new content packs so there's there's two baseline content packs that you can use there's what's called these the service manager or the the, sa the sales content pack and then there's the service content pack and what they really provide is just a variety of different tiles and, and dashboards and different things that are targeted at a salesperson using or a sales manager more specifically using CRM or a service manager using CRM so one of the first things that you have to have um, at your disposal is you have to have a CRM, um, a CRM instance, and you have to have a Power BI instance. And you could do all this in a trial. This actually is a trial instance that kind of to demonstrate that situation. So I have a trial instance set up where I have CRM and I have a Power BI license set up for that item. So now if I were to go into my Office 365 and go into Power BI, um, this will allow me to see my powerbi.com. Now again, depending upon what types of design capabilities and design principles you want to do from an application standpoint, you know, there's several different ways you could connect to this data source and then work with it. You could use, you know, Power Query through Excel. You could use the uh, Power BI desktop application. We're going to just for ease of purposes, we're going to go ahead and use uh, kind of the content pack. And so this is powerbi.com. This is actually connected to a CRM instance with some sample data. So I can see my total active cases in the application. I can click into those cases and I can look at more specifics around those cases. I can look at when things were open based upon types of, of items that have come in there. I can look at cases or resolved based upon those situations. So this is just, you know, cases by subject. So it tells me kind of what the broken down scenarios are. So this is a content pack that I installed into my powerbi.com that allows me to see what this information looks like. So now what I can basically do if I wanted to connect my Power BI to CRM is I would go into my get data and then I'm going to choose um, I could either connect specifically to a database or to a data source that I want to work with. Um, if I have a content pack that has already been created and shared as part of my organization based upon my Power BI subscription license, I could use that. Or I could just connect to a service, which is what we'll do here. So this is going to have a bunch of predefined content packs for different applications that are out there. And they specifically have a couple for Dynamic CRM. So they have a CRM online sales manager and they have a CRM online service manager. So Obviously, these are going to be connecting to your CRM online instance. Um, the, the sales manager one has actually been around for a while, but they recently updated it uh, to, to connect to the new web API or to the new OData endpoint. And then the service manager one was one that was actually just recently released as part of uh, spring update for 2016. So you're going to go ahead and hit get. It's going to ask you to load a few things. It's going to ask you for your URL for your CRM organization that you want to work with. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and type that in. Okay. 
Then it's going to go through its authentication process. It's going to ask you how you want to authenticate because this is going to be a CRM online instance. We're going to go ahead and authenticate using OAuth. So we'll go ahead and authenticate using OAuth. We'll sign in. It'll prompt us to sign into the area that we want to sign into. So I'll go ahead and sign into this option here. Then it's going to go through my redirect and my authentication. And then once it authenticates me, then it's going to load that information into the application and then I will have the dashboard present. And so that's what you're seeing here. So these are the, the different tiles and the, the items that come into this content pack. So I've got some reports that have been generated based upon those different situations. So these are those reports that I could drill into based upon those items and I could, you know, modify or, or work with from here. I can examine the filters that are associated with those items. Again, I'm not necessarily going to spend a ton of time, you know, walking through kind of the design elements. But, but basically with this, once you've connected to these data sources and you've worked with these options, and you've worked with these data sets, you could use this to, if you wanted to create some of your own tiles or widgets type situations that you could then go ahead and use and, and bring into the application. Now, the nice thing about this is a lot of times once you build this information, people want to go ahead and take some of these tiles and some of these different items that they've created and they want to bring them inside their CRM and work with them from that situation. And in the past, about the only way that you could really do that was, was going in and creating kind of a web resource to facilitate that. Well, with CRM 2016 with the spring update, they've now kind of tweaked that a little bit to give you a way to be able to facilitate that re relatively easily within the application. So if I'm in CRM, one of the first things that I can do is I can turn on kind of this new Power BI tile integration. So if I go into settings and I go into administration, actually what I'll see now if I go into system settings is underneath the reporting area, there will be a, an option specific for Power BI. So if I go into reporting, I'll have the option here to allow Power BI tile embedding. So this is what's going to allow me the capabilities to take these Power BI tiles and put them onto a CRM dashboard where I can work with it. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now the other thing to remember obviously is the Power BI instance that you're working with has to be associated and in the same CRM online instance that your, your CRM instance is going to be, be located with obviously so it knows how to communicate together. So they all need to be tied with the same Office 365 subscription. But now if I were to go into you know any dashboard mechanism that I want to work with, but in this case I'll just go ahead and go to a standard dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and create a new dashboard. And we'll just call this Sample Power BI. So now what you'll see in here is there's actually a Power BI option underneath my dashboard. So this is what's going to give me that capability to add the Power BI tile to my dashboard. So it's going to go out, it's going to look at my, my instance that I was working through, and it's going to show me all the different dashboards that are attached to that. So I've got two options here. I've got my CRM Online ser ser Service Manager as well as a sample option that we've created. I'm going to go ahead and choose my Service Manager, and then it's going to give me all my different tiles that are associated with this based upon those items. So now I can look at this and here's some of those different widgets and, and options and tiles that I could work with. So now I can go ahead and click on OK and now I've taken this tile and I've just embedded it right into my CRM application. Whereas in the past, if you wanted to do this from a Power BI scenario, like I said, there was a lot of web resources that you had to create and HTML stuff that you had to do to kind of get that to work. But now I could create a dashboard that you know has all of this information combined with other stuff. And so this is a great way that using Power BI, you can bring that information in. Now there's a lot more design principles and stuff, but hopefully this gives you a nice starting point to see some of the capabilities that you can do using the sales manager and the service manager content packs, as well as embedding the tiles into CRM. So that's going to do it for this week. Um, like I said, I just wanted to show you kind of some of the, the baseline capabilities for connecting and bringing that information in. Obviously, there's a lot more that you could do with this based upon different scenarios, but hopefully this serves as a good starting point to get everybody kind of moving forward with some of the CRM connections and Power BI integration. So again, for all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, this has been Derek saying thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and have a good one.